Hi. Well, um, what to do videos of to keep my YouTube channel going <laughs> when the only time I'm leaving the house is to go shopping either up to Morrison's or One Stop or something like that uh, because we're still under lockdown here. Uh, I haven't got a most bike anymore and even if I did I couldn't use it. So I thought I'd make another um, software, uh, another software vid about Affinity because Affinity, the Affinity Suite was all updated uh, last week, was it? And um, there's a very pleasant surprise because you've got a new button up in the top right here, which is called My Account. And when you when you've upgraded and you open the program for the first time, this this panel should appear, but you can get back to it any time you like by clicking this button in the right hand top corner with my account written on it and there are a load of freebies a load of downloads you could do like these sunlight effects um, and there's a magazine template there for um, you know obviously that's going to be um, useful for publisher I should think um, I bought those uh, fog overlays I think that was one of the free ones and they come with user guides and everything as well. And so you can download all these wonderful freebies. And after, after about a week, actually, there were, there were a few more appeared, which I only downloaded yesterday. So we got all these overlays. Basically, a lot of them are overlays. There's a couple of brushes in there. But mostly, um, the overlays. The dust brushes, for instance, were in there. But mostly the overlays and people were asking on the um, Facebook groups, you know, how do we use them? How do we even get to them? Because once you download them from your account, they will in fact automatically install, which is another great thing about it. And it gives you the size, just in case you see this one, the brushes are 1.66 gigs. So, you know, if you're on a notebook, uh, a MacBook, something like that, you know, you're going to be more conscious of space than um, I am here on the desktop. But I just downloaded a lot, basically. So, question is, how do you get them? Well, first thing you have to do is go... Um, as you can see, there's no assets panel here. We can't see them. So if we go View, Studio, Assets, and there they are. There you'll find in this drop down box all of your either purchased or freebie um, things from Affinity, your gift from Affinity. I think that's really cool to be honest. And I thought right here we got a photo of Tukes 3 as usual with the um, Barra Mel and I did my changing the weather video on a this wasn't this particular file because that one had it had a big hole in the roof there. So this is an earlier picture that I took. Um, and as you can see, this place hasn't been renovated yet because um, it's now some sort of ice cream parlor or something like that. So I thought what we'd do is, um, well, we can do a bit of weather changing again, really. Now, the first thing to notice is um, we've got strong sunlight in this picture, cloudless sky, and we've obviously got the sun coming from right to left. You can see up here, this area is in shadow. And you can see this bank here with the sunlight directly on it. So we've got sunlight coming from top right to bottom left. So let's have a look at our assets. And um, somewhere, yeah, sunlight. You see, we've got sunlight. Now, you've got to be careful here because these ones are JPEGs. So there's no transparency. Right, these ones down here are pings, so they got transparency built in. So let's choose one with a load of light beams in it. Sunlight and ping 5 looks pretty cool. We'll drag that over. Now notice it's coming in the wrong direction. We're going from left to right, so that's quite simple. Quick and dirty way to do it is just go like that. Okay, and you can distort these. I you know, I probably want the sunlight something more like that. So it's a nice subtle effect. Um, 
Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, I don't like it's a bit it's a bit strong, so we'll reduce the opacity just a bit. Okay, we're down to eighty two percent opacity. And as you notice, it's created its own layer automatically in the layers panel over on the right here. Okay, so the next thing I thought I'd add would be some rain. So let's, uh, we've got a rain one here, rain overlays. These are all ping, so they've all got built-in transparency. So heavy downpour. Let's drag that on. And again, you can resize it if you want. Oh, that's pretty good. And again, it's created its own layer. And again, we're going to reduce the opacity a bit. So I think I'm going to reduce the sunlight opacity just a bit more. And so there we got rain and sunlight. So that obviously gives you a rainbow. So let's have a look at rainbow overlays. Again, we've got pings here. So how's about light leak, rainbow fire flare, rainbow sky, let's have a look at that one. Uh, hmm. Right, let's reduce that. This might not be suitable actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, don't like that. So we're going to get rid of that delete that off. Uh, let's choose a more rainbowy one. And we'll put it, yeah it's gone in the on the um, layers panel over here on the right. It's actually put it behind the downpour which is kind of where we want it. Actually we could put it behind sunbeams as well. So there we go. So again, same process. We're going to. Right now, obviously, actually, we're going to reduce this quite a lot. And let's have it something like. All right. That now, obviously, again, you know, I'd be taking a lot more care of this if I was if I was doing it um, professional over there. So let's get our eraser. Okay, that's really, really hard. But, so let's go to brushes. Um, let's reduce the opacity a bit. Yeah, we got a nice soft brush and just take away this line here. Good enough for the web that's easy, you know. So command zero or control zero on Windows. There you go. We've added rain. We've added let's put it like that. We've added rain, we've added light beams, and we've added a rainbow, all in seconds, all with the freebies provided by Affinity. I think that's great. You can do exactly the same thing on the iPad version. And now we will switch over to the iPad version, and I'll show you how to do it on that. Here we are on the iPad version of Affinity Photo, um, and we've got the same file open here on the iPad version. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So the first thing to do is, and now remember, you have to download the assets, the free assets that Affinity are giving away with 1.9 first. Okay, but then once you've done that, go to your assets panel, which is this um, checkerboard here. Okay, and the first thing we want is, um, what was it we did first? Rain. Uh, let's see, rain, dust overlay, sunlight, fog, rain. Okay. Um, now we want to choose, these are nice pings with transparency in them. Um, oh, actually it was sunlight we did first, wasn't it? Yeah, sunlight. 
Okay, so let's go. It doesn't make a lot of difference, to be honest. I mean, you can always swap the layers around. Sunlight, right, we don't want these because these are solids. We want these sunlight pings down here because they've got built-in transparencies. Pings have built-in transparency. So let's choose one. Drag it onto here. Oops. Close that down. Let's swap that around so it's coming from the right direction. Okay, and you can manipulate this and distort it, you know, all you like, as long as it looks natural. Then we'll go back to layers, palette, layer options, reduce the opacity. Can you see that? We've now got um, sunbeams striking from the right angle, from the right, onto that bank and everything. Okay, next thing we're going to do is add rain. Uh, where was rain? Radiant lights, dust, sunlight, sunbeams, fog, rain overlays. Again, these are pings, so that should be all right. So let's choose this one. Okay, zoom out again. Uh, we don't have to shrink this one so much. Okay, let's go fit. There's the rain. Uh, now we want to add a rainbow. So again, go back to the assets panel, rainbows. Uh, which one should we do? That one. Can zoom out. Uh, we've got to be careful here because we want it. We want it ending against that building, don't we? So yeah, might have to be a bit more careful. Actually, I don't really like that one. So I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this one. Go back to your layers palette. Whoops. Okay, click the assets again. Um, how's about, what have we got? How about that? That looks quite good. Yay. So let's do something like that. Okay. Fit. Pretty cool, huh? There you got the rain, the rainbow, which, you know, again, you can go to your, um, you can go to your razor tool. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit much, isn't it? Let's reduce the hardness a lot. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Okay, to do that properly, of course, you'd have to make a selection, cut out the sky, insert the um, insert the rainbow so it's behind those buildings. But this is just a quick, quick and dirty. Oh, there's a bit more there, isn't there? Okay, how about that? There you go. That's it done in the iPad version. Just a simple, personally, I find the iPad version more fun. I, <laughs> I enjoy using um, a pencil. Okay, that's it. So um, that's about the only thing I could think of to make um, a video of at the moment. Um, I can't really see myself making a video walking up to Morrison's to do the shopping <laughs> or one stop. So that's it. Um, I'll try and think of something else to do just to keep the old channel going. But thanks very much indeed for watching um, and I'll see you next time.